Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at another special release from Russian River Brewing Company. This is a, a brew pub release only for them. This, of course, is the popular Beatification. It's a 100% spontaneously fermented, 6% alcohol by volume. Belgian Blonde Sour Ale. Um, Vinny, the brewmaster slash owner of Russian River, went to Belgium and was inspired by you know the likes of Cantillon and Giardin and these guys who are doing just these crazy good um, you know goozes, 100% fermented goose. Basically, they brew the beer, they let it cool in a cool ship, they throw the windows open, whatever ferments that beer is what gives it the flavor. So Vinny did that, aged it in some oak barrels from betwe between 8 to 24 months, blended it together, and we get the final product, which is batch 5 of beatification. This one was bottled on January 10th of 2012, and I have to give a massive thanks to Michael for sending this over. Really, really appreciate it. It's been one of my beers on my bucket list that I have not yet to try, so I'm looking forward to it. Let me get into a glass so that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Russian River Beatification. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Beatification, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a, a beautiful, hazy, hazy, golden yellow. You just see a big burst of light behind it, nothing through it. There was a lot of carbonation coming off the sides of the glass there. The head, um, there was about a half a finger of a really, really beautiful white, kind of snow white head on there. It dissipated really quickly in these wild ales. You do tend to have that. Um, decent amount of head lacing on there. There's actually a little bit of alcohol feed on this one, which is kind of surprising. It's 6%. It's just a gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous beer. All right, the aroma, the beatification. Wow, I'm getting a big musk kind of flavor, um, leather, tobacco. There's a huge funkiness, a wet hay, um, maybe even a little bit of like a manure, a, a manure kind of flavor in there, believe it or not. There's tropical fruits, there's a big funky kind of uh, vinegar kind of quality to it. Apple peel, peaches, um, a little bit of like a pear, ah, like rotten fruit, a little bit of mud, a little bit of dirt. It's just a hugely funky, intense, complex smelling beer. Holy cow. All right, guys, so the taste on the beatification. Cheers. Hugely sour, mouth puck puckeringly so. Makes your saliva gland just kick on. The mouth is watering like crazy right now. Right at the front of the tongue, that massive sourness just pops all the hop, the hop buds, all the taste buds right open. Your salivary glands start going crazy. You're getting, a, as that goes away, um, dissipates pretty quickly. I'm starting to get more of like a sweetness. Again, it's almost like a, a tropical fruit, a little bit of like a ripe pear, almost like an overly ripe pear, a little bit of like an apple skin, a little bit of that apple vinegar type of flavor in there. Getting more of the funkiness in the actual middle of the beer. There's a nice breadiness to help kind of coat the mouth. Uh, getting some of that horse blanket, wet hay, wet grass. Um, it smells like a, a muddy, grassy field after a storm. Just really herbal and earthy. At the same time, there's that sweetness and that sourness from like a lemon to really kind of like counteract that. Uh, super dry finish epically dry finish just dries the mouth right out i mean white wine champagne type of finish on this one aftertaste more of that funk horse blanket sourness lemon juice it's just a crazy complex delicious intense beer amazing stuff all right guys so the final verdict verdict on the russian river beatification batch five six percent alcohol by volume this is getting an a plus beer i'm not a big sour head you know i keep trying them i like them i just prefer hops but like something like this just completely changes my mind on that the sourness is almost to the point of being overwhelming counteracted with this sweetness and this funkiness it just makes this one of the most intensely complex and difficult to review beers that i've ever had beatification batch number five getting an a plus for me and remember folks life is too short Drink amazing beers. Cheers.